Lubricating and control oil are both supplied by the same system on the steam turbine. At the center of this system is the lubrication oil tank. The lube oil tank capacity is 3,963 gallons of turbine oil. Various components are located on and around the lube oil tank. The lube oil purifier unit is located to the east of the lube oil storage tank. The lube oil tank vapor extractor is located on the top of the lube oil storage tank. The vapor extractor exhausts through a mist separator which returns any entrained oil to the tank. Lube oil is pumped from the pump discharge through one of two lube oil coolers. Flow through the lube oil coolers is controlled by the selector valve located between the coolers. From the lube oil coolers, the oil continues through a duplex oil filter. There are six lube oil accumulators attached to the low pressure lube oil discharge line. These accumulators help minimize surges in the oil supply to the turbine generator bearings. The AC motor driven main oil pump is located in the lube oil tank with the motor located on the top of the tank. The main oil pump is the primary supply for low pressure oil for bearing lubrication and high pressure oil for the control oil system. The AC motor driven auxiliary oil pump is located to the west of the main oil pump and serves as a backup supply for low pressure bearing oil and high pressure control oil. The high pressure for control oil system supply will be briefly discussed later in this presentation. Turbine generator lube oil is pumped from the tank through one of the lube oil coolers and the oil filter, then on to the turbine and generator bearings. The steam turbine generator contains five journal or support bearings. Journal bearings are numbered one through five from the condenser end of the steam turbine to the exciter end of the generator. A thrust bearing is located next to journal bearing two. The normal lubricating oil pressure is controlled between 14 and 25 psi. The auxiliary oil pump will start automatically if the bearing oil pressure should drop below a predetermined level. A DC motor driven pump is located on the main oil tank. If the bearing oil pressure drops below a predetermined level, this emergency oil pump will start. The emergency oil pump supplies oil only to the bearings and does not provide control oil. The oil purifier takes oil directly from the main oil tank and pumps it through extremely fine filters. The filtered oil is then returned to the tank. The main oil tank has a turbo blower type vapor extractor to maintain a negative pressure on the oil tank. Such a negative pressure aids in oil return flow to the tank and also helps reduce external leakage from the oil system. The vapor extractor blows directly into the mist separator. As the mist is removed, the collected oil is returned to the main oil tank. The lube oil accumulators help dampen any pressure surges in the oil supply to the journal bearings and one thrust bearing in the turbine generator package. The high pressure accumulator dampens any pressure surges of the oil going to the main stop valves or governing valve servos. High pressure oil comes from the high pressure sections of the main and auxiliary lube oil pumps and is used to control all control and stop valves on the three steam systems.